Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be solving the problem 2 to the power of 22 minus 1. <clears throat> so I want to find the value of this. So to start off, I'm going to rewrite this as 2 to the power of 11 times 2 minus 1. And the reason I did this is because if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 11 times 2 is going to equal 2 to the power of 11 to the power of 2, and I have this minus 1. Now, from here, I can rewrite 1 as 1 squared, because 1 is the same thing as 1 squared. And you'll see why I did that here in a minute. But I have 2 to the power of 11 squared minus 1 squared. Now, the reason I did this is because now I can use the property a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is equal to 2 to the power of 11 and b is equal to 1. So this is equal to 2 to the power of 11 plus 1 times 2 to the power of 11 minus 1. So now, as you can see, this is much easier to solve than before because, well, 2 to the power of 11, we know that. 2 to the power of 11 is equal to 2 times 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 2. So basically, 2 multiplied by itself 11 times. And this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3 times 2 to the power of 3 times 2 to the power of 3 times 2 squared, which is equal to 2 to the power of 9 times 4, which is equal to 512 times 4, which is equal to 2048. So 2 to the power of 11 is 2048. So now I get 2048 plus 1 times 2048 minus 1. Now, 2048 plus 1 is equal to 2049. And 2048 minus 1 is equal to 2047. So I have 2049 times 2047. And here, what most people would do is multiply these two the old fashioned way, using multiply, multiplying them like this. However, this takes way too long. And there's a much more efficient way to multiply these two. And you can do that by rewriting this as 2000 plus 49 times 2000 plus 47. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because I can distribute this and I get much easier numbers to multiply. For example, I have 2000 times 2000, just 2000 squared plus 2000 times 47. Because notice how 2,000 just has zeros, and it's easy to multiply numbers with a lot of zeros. Now I'm going to distribute the 49, 40, so I get 2,000 times 49, and finally 49 times 47. So 2,000 squared is going to equal 4 million. Now 2,000 times 47 is equal to 94,000. 2,000 times 49 is equal to 98,000. And 49 times 47 is equal to 2,303. So all I have to do is add all of these up. So I have 4 million plus 94,000 plus 98,000 plus 2,303. 
So I have three over here, zero over here, three over here. Eight plus two is 10, 10 plus four is 14. So I carry the one. Nine plus nine is 18, 18 plus one is 19. So I carry the one, one over here and a four over here. So my final answer is 4,194,303.